sunrise, new days dawning, and it's calling you and me. Where the mighty Mississippi flows by Memphis, Tennessee, we've got good lands, fields, and water. Hey, there is no better way. You can find. Saturday morning and welcome to another edition of the award-winning Outdoors with Larry Ray. Brought to you proudly by Sportsman's Warehouse and the Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency. Now, here's your host, Larry Ray. A hey, good Saturday morning. Welcome to 2020. That's right, Outdoors with Larry Ray. 2020. <laughs> what happened to Y2K? I mean, you know why? Well, I still got 400 pounds of peanut butter. You still do? Yeah, I still got yeah. some canned goods up in my <laughs> attic. You know, I thought everything. Yeah, in I the, think you still got eight or nine generators hanging around. Yeah, <laughs> I do. I do. I do. Just like the great earthquake. But uh, this is uh, Outdoors with Larry Ray, the fastest 90 minutes in Outdoor Ready program. And this is first Saturday, which means normally Brother Daryl and Daryl are in here. There's Gene Smith and Dave Gabbard. But we have uh, half of the group. Uh, I started to say half wit, but I didn't want to get that because <laughs> you're the wit of the you're the wit of the show. Yeah, I, I mean, so half, I go with half, as long as I yeah, three quarter. Half wit doesn't sound right, but uh, Dave is up in Lexington. He's reporting from up there, and we're glad yeah. to have Dave with us. Good morning, Dave. Good morning. Yeah, I decided to stay. A little under the weather. Didn't want to come down and give it to y'all. I don't know where that under the weather that expression ever came from. You know what I mean? It's under the weather. Why it's over? Like the, last over week the weather. Under the weather. Yeah, yeah, under the weather. I'm under the sheets a lot here. So let's. Uh, but this is going to be a special show to kick off the year. Uh, a little bit in just a few minutes, you're going to hear from the man himself, Dale Sanders. Our the Graybeard Adventure is in the studio. Good morning. Good morning. I can't wait to talk to Dale. He's got some things planned for 2020. He just got back can you from. Get him uh, to even, huh? He walks so much. Can you even get him to sit down? Uh, he's walking <laughs> around the room right now. He's just around the studio. I, yeah. I was going to say, how does he know I'm sitting down? Yeah, <laughs> that's right. See, uh, you don't have any idea. But uh, also, our, my good friend uh, Bob Airwood is uh, is in with us this morning. And wow, uh, Bob uh, has helped us on the. Uh, Outdoors of Larry Ray Holiday Giveaway, and this is the morning. I know many of you are out there that sent your name in, entered the, the contest, are anxiously awaiting uh, some of the prizes. And, uh, Bob, good morning to you. Good morning, Larry. Uh, Bob is a member of the Fellowship of Christian Athletes. That's where I got to really know Bob through his work with FCA and talking about uh, the recent prayer breakfast with uh, Sherman Smith. Smith. And it was one of the best, he said. Uh, right? It was. It was. One, it was. A Google great, Sherman great. Smith and, right. and find out about him. I, he offered me to be there. I'm, of course, uh, got great uh, ties with the Fellowship of Christian Athletes. But Bob's company, which we're really glad to uh, say, uh, that is Gray Star. That's your company, right? Right. It is. And uh, Bob said, "Well, I will tell you what. Um, let me donate some prizes. So this is what we got today, y'all. You got to stay around and listen." We've got a $250 gift card from Frog Togs. Our good friend Will Turner down in Arab, Alabama, uh, donated that. We've got a gift pack from Jack Wells at B&M Poles. Uh, you're going to like it. It's got a cap. It's got the rod. It's got the reel all in there. And then here comes Bob said, let me help out on that. And, wow, I hope you guys like Academy Sports because uh, thanks to Bob and his company, uh, we got two $100 Academy Sports gift cards and a $50 gift card. So we're looking at probably $700 or more in prizes. Super, if, super. If you did not enter, 
Shame on you, right? I know. It was really tough, yep. wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Just put your name, your address, you and your do. telephone number. That's all you had to do. If you remember your name, you're okay. That's right? true. <laughs> you can always look at your driver's license. Well, if you got one. That's true. you got to have one of those, too, you know. And you got to have one with a star on it That's pretty true. soon. This pretty is this soon. year. Exactly October. right. you got to have a star on yeah. it. But, uh, so, Dave, I know that um, I'm sorry, but you entered the contest, but you're not eligible. But you could have entered your dog if you wanted to, you know, so... <laughs> Well, I could enter one of the deer that's sitting out there in the front yard here. Well, that's enough. But, I don't want to hear that you know, either. Okay. You know, something that you probably haven't seen for a while. I, I, have, I have meat in the freezer, okay. Uh, okay. One shot went straight down, uh, thanks to my good friend James McCory at his uh, farm. I want to wish James uh, health, speedy recovery. He's had some health issues, but I got a deer, and I'm going to get some more, I hope. Uh, this is, It ends the season technically ends tomorrow for the regular gun season, but we know that we have a season next week uh, on private lands only. Uh, that is for the um, antlerless deer to so kill some yeah, ducks. That's, that's the grocery season. The grocery season. Well, I want some of that, and then we're going to talk ducks today also on Outdoors with Larry Ray. Uh, straight from the blind, I think we're going to get to talk to uh, Lance Ryder, TWRA, and I forget Lance's title. He's a... Uh, uh, education or something for the region. Yeah, I don't. I, I don't know what he's. Uh, <laughs> you know, since, since I think they're on about the agencies about on the New World Order Part Five. So uh-huh. I don't know what they it what would, they're calling themselves. It would not be you Dave know. Gabbard if we didn't mention the World Order. That uh, that is uh, the the W O. Uh, Dave retired from the T W R A after seven hundred and forty eight years. You know, yeah. so uh, in 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 dog life, but. Uh, uh, we're going to talk to Lance, Jimbo Robinson from DU, hook up with Bill Cooksey, Frank Barton. Frank is hunting this week, y'all. If you remember, Jack Combs was on this show in the Master Retrievers National Championship. Jack trains hunting poodles. That's right. Jack is in the area this weekend, going to be hunting with Frank, probably over at Lansing Bottoms in Arkansas, and he's going to bring along one of his poodles to duck hunt. Uh Man, I wanted to go see that, but uh, we're going to talk to Frank a little bit about that, and then, uh, yes, Mr. Punt is here. And Ta-da! He, and you do have some ready, right? Oh, yeah, I do, I do, I do, I do. All right, well, before we get into the real meat of the show, could you yes, do sir. one kind of a tease right now? Well, you know, um, you know, some ladies, of course, men probably do, too. Yeah. I asked this one lady, I said, you take your glasses off so you, you will look better? She said, no, I'll take them off so you will look better. Oh, <laughs> Okay, that's the first one. We will have several more, uh, and try to remember the first one because we might give a prize at the end of the show if you can remember what he said <laughs> this early in the show. Shelby McCall is pushing all the buttons. Going to have a lot of fun today, Dave Gabbard. We're uh, we miss you here, but uh, oh yeah, and uh, we're going to you know you said with deer season you know, coming down. to a close and yeah. everything, and and the way the weather's been lately, it's been kind of mild. And I'm sure you've seen the news release from. You know, Lee Wilmot up there, you know, it's trap time here. It sure is. Oh, yeah. 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 Yep. Second, stra- uh, second stocking is uh, is 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 gone because I know we did some in December. And, folks, hey, that's a great idea for 2020. If you want to take a kid out to Cameron Brown Park in Germantown, take a kid out to maybe any of the local lakes of here. Uh, the TWRA has that winter trout stocking program, and they're just waiting for you to catch. And I know there's some kids out there that maybe got a new rod and reel. Maybe the lucky winner of this uh, B&M pole rod and reel can take it to him and catch a trout. Yeah, I've met a young man at uh, Michael's. He was looking for some hooks to hang his rod and reels at his club on the wall Yeah, because he trouts fish. I said, did you know we, do, we TWRA puts trout here? He didn't know that either. He didn't know that? A lot of people, I don't know. All they had to do is read the guide, you know, well, or listen to Larry Ray. Oh, that's know. right. And, <laughs> right. hey, also there was something else that happened on January the 1st. Oh, yeah, it? right. Yeah, it sure was. Well, January the 1st was Mr. Smith's birthday. Mr. Smith goes to Washington. No, no. <laughs> and I have a card here for Eugene Smith. All right. He was the second baby born yes, in, in 1890. No, no. What? what, what? Uh, 1141. 1141. Second baby born, yes, right? Yes, that was. Yeah. Uh, no, what? Tw- I wanted 13 be, pounds? Yeah, oh, I was yeah. in the hospital because I want to be near my mother. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, this is for you, 
You could read it out to us, okay? This okay. is Gene Smith's birthday card, all right? All right. Don't worry about another birthday. Age hasn't affected you at all. I said age hadn't affected you at all. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I like that. That's sharp. Happy birthday, Gene. <laughs> Thank you, sir. We Thank appreciate you. you. All right, Shelby, can we take a break now? Or is it too early? We've got two minutes. Two minutes. Yeah. Two minutes. Okay. Two minutes. All right. Well, I know Gene usually on, uh, you know, on the first there, you know, with his birthday and stuff, I know that usually go on a hike out to uh, – Shelby Park. There you That's go. That's right. I did go yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. You went m- January the first. January the first. Uh, matter of fact, uh, we thought it was just in Tennessee, but they're saying now it's almost every state in the union. And you're it's it's always on January the first. January the first. Yeah. We had over two hundred people. Uh, two hundred people. Well, yeah. It was nice. They had s'mores at the end for kids and the roasted marshmallows, of course, to make the s'mores. Yeah. And Sam brought the birds out, and everybody got to get a. Well, she talked about the different birds, and then. Uh, some of them got pictures with the birds on their shoulder or their arm. So let's say, let's don't forget uh, our local parks, state parks, and whatever it might be. Oh, uh, yeah. That uh, Gene was out there, met some people. Um, said he saw Bart Beretta out there. Yeah, I, I, I hope I you did. I talked to him for 45 minutes before I realized who he was. Well, he didn't know who you were either. That's true. Well, I had my outdoor Larry well, he only He on. only talked to you for 10 minutes. That's true. You yeah. talked to him for 45. <laughs> yeah, he listened. Yeah, he listened for 45. <laughs> What did he say? <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> but I've, I've been lucky. I'm, I'm the founder of Friends of the Forest out at Shelby Forest. I started that years ago. Did you really? Yeah. I was with the Audubon Society. I was the president of Audubon, too. And yeah. I was trying to get everybody to network together because you can do more with the outdoors and with, with networking. Networking. Different people. Yeah, of course, no. Daryl knows about that. Dale knows about that. Yeah. Well, Dale knows all about networking, and that's what we're going to talk to Get ready. We're coming up. We're going to start that uh, holiday prize drawing. We've got Dale Sanders in studio. Shelby McCall taking care of us. This is Outdoors with Larry Ray. We'll be right back. <laughs> 